Bizzartastic YouTube channel. Here we do things different. We like to be extra creative and we like to spark creativity by taking two words that start with the same letter and smushing them together. Today's words are bumpy and beetle to make a bumpy beetle. So get your artist flavor on my friend and we are going to draw this fabulous bumpy beetle. Let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, we're gonna get going on our bumpy beetle. So grab something to draw with, whatever you want. You can sure use whatever makes you happy. And here we go. We're gonna start off with our beetle's horns. We're gonna start off on the left side of our page. Draw a nice big curving line down. Whoa. Actually, I started doing the other part. All right, then we're gonna start at the top and we're gonna bring a line down. If you make a mistake, it's okay. Mistakes actually help us learn, so it's actually a good thing. All right, then once we're done that, we're going to uh, draw a curving line underneath. That curving line underneath. We're gonna draw a curving line up. draw a little curving line up. Now remember on this channel, it's actually pretty unique, right? We take two words, we're gonna smush them together and we're not, I'm not drawing with a preconceived idea. I'm actually just making it up right in front of you as I'm doing this right now. Um, so yeah, we're just figuring it out. This is how artists work through things. We think about it, we start adding details and we see what happens, two words, and then we just, just go for it with no preconceived ideas. We just let our creative energy kind of explode out of us. All right, from this top point, we're gonna bring a curving line down, around, and out. And then I'm gonna add a little mouth on here, so I'm gonna curve it down and connect. Like a little hooked mouth. All right, we're gonna give Beetle a big eye, our bumpy Beetle. And in that eye, we're gonna draw one big circle and two small circles. And then we're gonna color in the dark of the eye, leaving those circles nice and white. And anytime you need me to slow down, just hit that pause button and hit your play button when you're ready to continue. And the cool thing is you also get to watch the steps as many times as you want. So if you need more time, if you wanna watch it again, just hit rewind. All right, add some little detailed lines around the eye to make that extra cute. We also can add some little lines and variation for color on the horns. Give that a little bit extra detail, right? We do big details, big areas first, we draw them and then we add the small details after. All right, let's add bumpy beetles back. So we're gonna first add some bumps. We're gonna do bump, skip space, bump, skip a space, bump, skip a space. And I'm working them in an imaginary line, right? I'm visualizing a line that's not there. I'm working it into a curve and I am leaving some spaces because now we're gonna add some more bumps here. We're gonna add little bumps with some curving lines. All they are are little curving lines, right? That's creating this texture of bumps on our page. We're creating the texture of bumps. And now I'm just gonna keep overlapping them. Kind of like how we draw fish scales, but instead I'm using the same mark and I'm making them vertical to create this texture of bumps to make my bumpy beetle. It's bumpy, isn't it? You can even go ahead and add some little bumps on it, its head here and there, just like some cute little extra bumps. So cute, it's so bumpy. All right, forgot to finish my mouth, so I'm gonna add a little line here and draw a little smiley. Oh, so cute. If you wanna make it extra cute, add a little oval under the eye to give it a little cheek. Now it's super bumpy and it's a super cute beetle. All right, we're gonna draw a curving line at the bottom to add a belly. 
and a second one to add another belly. And we're going to add some straight lines on there for the belly texture. And then to finish up beetle, we're just gonna draw one thick line, two thick lines, and three thick lines for three legs on the front. But of course it has six legs, so we're gonna have one, two, three smaller legs for the back there, where it's uh, on the other side of the body, but I made them smaller and shorter because I want them to appear to be far away. I'm also gonna add a shadow on the ground here by just lightly coloring here, and that way it'll look like it's hovering above the ground and not floating in the middle of outer space. So once that's done, you can go ahead and grab something to color with, whatever makes you happy, and color in your fabulous Bumpy Beetle in your choice of colors and art making mediums. Yeah. 